Queens. welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel hey girl welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video and if you're a returning subscriber love you hey girl hey all right y'all so let's get into it i have not made a hygiene must-haves video in so long like if y'all remember this one from <laughs> a very very long time ago as i got older i learned certain things certain products just weren't right for my body i also wanted to give y'all a tea on working products products that work on the inside out basically taking certain supplements and things of that nature to like help with the smell it, it's inevitable okay you're gonna experience a moment where something don't smell right something's off or whatever your ph balance it's thrown off especially if you're sexually active i am currently celibate so can't relate um i'm gonna be your big sister out here you guys making sure that y'all have the right products and making sure that y'all are put onto the right tea and the right tip so let's get into it so the first point for the hygiene is always going to be the inside of our body i didn't think about that until obviously until i got older that it's literally what we put inside of us too that can help as far as regulating smells and making sure that we are you know doing what we need to do to keep the vaginae nice and clean i live by these i've been taking these for a very long time i can honestly say that fenugreek slippery elm first things first with slippery elm yes you have heard if you went on tiktok and did your little research as far as it being slip and slide water park that's very much accurate i'm not even gonna lie so with slippery elm yes it has healing properties as well as you know giving lubrication if you are you know on the drier side and anti-inflammatory also as well i definitely recommend this you don't have to do this all the time for nature's way this brand says it takes four capsules at three times daily i don't even do that I just take it whenever I feel like I need to take it or whenever I feel like I want to take it. Another big thing that I like to contribute to smell for sure is fenugreek. This is the stuff that people say that makes you have that like syrupy-ish smell and it does. So if you're not a fan of giving off like a hint of like syrup, basically maple syrup, um, I would not get this. I was actually told to take this from my doctor. I'm one of those girls with the bad periods, okay? Like I'm always sick. These are the type of supplements that are just genuinely good for your body um and you don't again you don't have to take these constantly moving on to another thing that i like to you know consume or whatever liquid chlorophyll now nine times out of ten what the biggest issue is is just like finding a specific brand whether you want the capsules or the drops i actually have the benevolent the liquid drops y'all always see me throughout my vlogs here and there throw in some drops of the chlorophyll within my water one it's, it's aesthetically pleasing like who doesn't like seeing like <laughs> it disperse but no it actually really does uh help with the ph of your body this is one thing that i know that i have seen a change in regards to the ph of my body i always did this and i did um boric acid suppositories if you guys don't know what that is that's another thing i didn't want to include that because it's not like a natural product um you're not supposed to be like using it all the time and those things will be all in my um amazon storefronts i'll make sure to link the uh suppositories that i use so this is boric life obviously has many different great properties in it it promotes vaginal balance um there's 30 in here by the way and and they're all like it's about 600 milligrams for each capsule it supports odor, odor control it literally says on the bottle it's for intimate health so you may need to start investing in some boric acid okay i wanted to give an honorable mention as well for like whenever we do like our soak baths and stuff like that and you guys talk you i know y'all have heard about this i know y'all have heard about using apple cider vinegar from the mother okay from the mother please make sure it's from the mother i just get the small bottles and keep them in my bathroom i do this like once every once in a while that and then taking like actual shots of apple cider vinegar with like mixing it with water don't be taking no thick shots it's actually not good for your teeth like you know if it hits your teeth and stuff because it's so acidic just take it dilute it with water a little bit and just start taking it like once a week y'all you will see a difference in your body the smell of your body just making sure that down there smells absolutely fresh okay all right y'all so moving on from like you know what to put inside of your body as far as supplements and stuff we're gonna go to the mouth okay nobody wants a spongebob trench mouth i just get a nice good little crest toothpaste it does it for me every time. The one with the whitening and it also has a um, mouthwash like flex in it. Definitely a fluoride toothpaste. So if you're a fluoride free girly, I don't know what to tell you, but I feel like that those, it just, I feel like I have to brush my teeth about three times for it to, for me to feel like, you know, clean. But the real tea about getting your mouth clean, y'all, that I actually, it's sad to say that I just got into it. Tongue scraper. 
tongue scrape -er. but i was like let me try a tongue scraper i've never had one before i always just use my toothbrush but that in itself not enough the toothbrush does not get into it definitely make sure to replace these i'm gonna actually have to replace i don't know why i still have this one from august but it's because i literally always um clean it and sit it in like a um peroxide a tongue scraper please get one invest in one it's not even that expensive get it from target i got mine from target look cute pink one moving on to the body care because who doesn't like body care and products and soaps and all that other stuff i actually made sure to make a shower routine video i'll probably put it on the side of the products that i use um on my tiktok so y'all and also on instagram reels so y'all follow me on tiktok when it comes to body care i had to learn to get rid of dove dove needed to go to the left as far as my like only soap like my one cleanse i needed to learn how to double cleanse i was not doing that properly and all the girls were saying to get dialed so you know what i did i went to walmart and got me some antibacterial dial soap that's what i did i'm easily influenced when it comes to things that make sense i got the lavender and jasmine one and it's the calm and soothe um deodorant bar soap antibacterial so absolutely love it i can see why people double cleanse and start off with dial and then go into like using a shower gel or like using dove soap or something it is so like you actually feel cleaner you feel squeaky clean you know when your skin is just like so dry because you literally have scrubbed all the oils off of it um that's how i feel after um going in first for my first cleanse with this and like my, my loofah sponge i'm a loofah girly i don't care what anybody say i like using the gloves too but i'm a loofah girl so pro tip it's not bad to use loofahs it's not a transfer of bacteria as far as any type of type of rag uh loofah the gloves all of that is bacteria filled the african net it's it, you are literally putting that in crevices of your body it's going to get bacteria as far as me having two different ones i used two different ones one for my full body and then like my private area and then the other one is just straight for the back okay because we're not cross contaminating don't do it just have two separate rags two separate loofahs two separate fish uh little nets whatever you like to use just have two different ones and then i go in with my dove restoring and this is my favorite one i just don't like any other this is the coconut and cocoa butter one this is like a favorite this is a fan favorite for me i don't really care for any other fruity scents from dove i just i don't know i just love it it just smells so nice and good and cocoa buttery going in with the dial first and then going into double cleanse um for the second time with the dove it's a match made in heaven y'all get into it if you're not double cleansing please make sure you start this one's everyone's favorite i feel like dr bronner's has made its way across the world with everybody so the peppermint castile soap this is what i specifically use for my back for the back side try not to use this for my front i actually will use a um yoni soap which i will show you guys in a second it may be tmi but i don't care like i just like making sure that my back side is super clean um there will be no crumbs there'll be nothing left over okay i will make sure that it gets it's super clean with this um of course do not put the soap like directly in there don't don't do that y'all don't don't do it but just make sure that you're you know kind of cleaning around that area this is the girl for that i don't know why y'all so stuck on the other scent this one is where it's at now we're gonna get into the yoni care for all of my girls i have found the perfect company the perfect three-step process for the yoni okay for the vagin a we're gonna make sure that we do the soap and if obviously um if whoever does waxing shaving any of that nature i stopped uh waxing because it was causing like irritation um and bumps and stuff so i had to like stop doing that like going to get waxed and also because it wasn't in the budget i had to stop i stopped waxing and i went back to shaving and i started doing it properly as far as using um specific steps and i have not seen a lot of like ingrown hairs at all or anything like that so good for that and i have something for ingrown hairs too i got all these products all over my room y'all three-step process the yoni soap the yoni scrub and the yoni oil that's all you need so i am featuring shop amorphia today in this video for the yoni wash and basically just the products that i have literally been using for quite some time i've been using this for a while like i've been using this every day you don't need a lot so this yoni wash will last you a very 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 
very long time. Yoni wash, it is said to help with pH balance, eliminate odor, and yes it does. Um, long lasting freshness helps with BV or helps prevent BV and yeast infections and things of that nature. So it does, it smells very, very natural. Like there's nothing that's like fruity about this. So if you're looking for something that's like real fruity or whatever, it's not, that's not this. The oil for sure has like sweet candy-ish kind of smell in my opinion. Wash is gonna be like, kind of like your peppermint Castile soap. It's very natural smelling. Highly recommend this soap and I'll make sure to tag them in the description so that you guys can check them out and purchase your bundles, your sets. I'm pretty sure they have sales going on at this moment. And I also have a coupon code that I will put on the screen and in the description box for you guys. I also go in with the Yoni scrub, you guys. Y'all see, I've been digging in there. Like I've been using it. But this particularly is my favorite product. It smells so good. I don't know if it's like the lemon and almond oil kind of smell in there, mixing together, intertwining, but I love it. I'm locked in with this uh scrub. It's so good, especially after you're done shaving, go in with this scrub. I promise you, you'll have no complaints. It, it's just that top tier. As far as um, scrubs go, Tree Hut, I am a Tree Hut girly still as well. I use this more so on my legs though, because I realized as far as using this on your bikini line, way too harsh. I don't know what they have in here, but it's super, like it be feeling like nails sometimes. So I just use it on my legs and my arms or whatever I shave that's like the other parts of my body, it's probably going to be my legs. So, um, yep, I use this on my legs and thighs, the tree hut, and my favorite scent is this one right here, the tropical mango is my favorite scent. I, um, I also like the vanilla one too. And when you wanna finish off and you get out of the shower, um, the yoni oil is the way to go. I'm just now getting hip to yoni oil. I didn't think that that was an actual thing. I didn't think people were putting oils on the top of their bikini area, but this is a game changer. And it smells so good, you guys. So again, big shout out to Morphia. I'll make sure to leave each product in the description box for you guys to check out and also have the link of the coupon code and everything like that. All will be in the description box for you guys to have on checkout when you get your product but we're gonna get into the actual like body oils the smell your fragrance figuring out your fragrance making sure that you smell good and last and it lasts long throughout the day honorable mention i almost forgot that dry brushing just been getting into it also um please make sure you're doing this i feel like it also helps remove like as far as if you have issues with like dark spots of your body like my kneecaps have always been dark i don't know i don't know what it is i've been like dry brushing and like using circular motions just to like as far as the color the discoloration to lighten i also do this on my bikini area as well because who doesn't have hyperpigmentation down there you know you may be god's favorite if, if you don't but no um, i'm just saying in general if you have hyperpigmentation, I highly suggest that you go in with a brush. I will never not include this in a must have. If you have issues with getting ingrown hairs, please get this, please get this product. 10 Skin Solution. I talked about this in my other hygiene video and that was years ago. So I've been using this for years. Um, I think I had the smaller bottle before. I made sense and I bought the big ones because it's not cheap, but it is top tier. Like this is what the men use on their faces. Like after they get their, you know, faces shaved and stuff. Just put it on a paper towel, just literally on a paper towel and pat it on top of the bikini area. Really anywhere that you have shaved and you just are afraid of getting like ingrown hairs or you just feel, uh, are afraid that it's gonna be like infected and ingrown hairs, whatever, please use that product. I promise you, it's gonna sting, okay? It's gonna feel like alcohol on like an open wound a little bit. I just believe that's just because it's doing its job and it's cleaning everything so that you do not get an ingrown hair. If you know me, you know that I do not use lotion. <laughs> I'm not a lotion girl. I'm a coconut oil girl, I've always, been into using coconut oil and shea butters and stuff like that since like, since I was like 12 or 13 years old. You put on lotion and you are ashy in like the next 20 minutes and that's just not my vibe. It's either this or some baby oil or something like I can't deal with being ashy with just using just lotion. Not to mention bugs do not like coconut oil. So mosquitoes, they don't like coconut oil. I know some people are allergic to coconuts, oil, so I get you not using this at all. Then I would recommend like shea butters and stuff like that for you or just using a natural body oil. I'm gonna go into the last little parts of this, which is like your fragrance, finding your scent and just making sure that it lasts long. Like everyone already knows this trick as far as putting Vaseline on your body in the specific areas that you want it to last, it will hold on to the smell go ahead and get some vaseline and just like apply it onto like your wrist back of your neck areas that you want your body to smell and the, the perfume or whatever you're using to linger definitely use it highly recommend just going into one of the beauty supply stores a little hair beauty supply store and looking at the little cart with the oils i have a problem <laughs> i always put people on to like my favorite ones i don't know if they have them in y'all where y'all are at but my favorite scents are hello kitty i'm trying not to be vulgar on here but one of them is literally called 
<laughs> so it's literally called Kushi. So it's, but that one's my favorite actually. But Hello Kitty, Kushi, and I think the third one is like butt naked or something like that. They're very vulgar, the names, but it's because they smell that good. Like it just smells amazing. So funny when I pull out the roll on and somebody's like, oh my God, what does that smell? It's literally called Kushi. So it's like, especially for like an adult, like I, I literally just be like, um, Mark Jacobs. Maybe I'm not about to pull it out and tell you exactly. Like, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I won't be doing that. Unless you're like my age, I'll just like show you the bottle or whatever, or just show you. But I, take a little, take a little trip to the beauty supply store, y'all, and get versed in the oils. Okay, they're cheap too. You can get like three for like ten sometimes. Just make sure you go in and, and look at the little oils. Don't sleep on them. They're actually very, very good. I have been loving. Especially in the winter time, I have literally been loving the Zara Memorable Aura. I had recently went on a trip with my friends to Texas and we went to Zara. I had a little fun in the perfume section, but I can't even explain what this, I'm so bad at explaining scents, but this is like a, it's just grown woman clean, sexy vibes. Like I can't even explain. It's just very, very much grown woman clean. This is my favorite scent, in my opinion. Um, also, another honorable mention is um, Juliet Has a Gun. If you guys have ever smelled Juliet Has a Gun in like Sephora or whatever, top tier. I'll throw in a honorable mention for like a good lotion dupe or a body butter for you guys. Um, this is the one from Tree Hut. It smells amazing. It's the Whipped Shea Butter Moroccan Rose. You can definitely get this one at Walmart. This right here is one of my favorite lotion this is the only thing i'll actually use as far as lotion if i don't want to put on oil if i don't feel like digging my nails in my in the little in the coconut oil jar i will use the tree hut one it will very much so get you nice and moisturized every time but i mainly use this on my hands and legs um and yeah that's it you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i just wanted to go ahead and do a little updated version and share with you guys some of my tips and tricks you know i always do like the little big sister moments where i get to talk about stuff with y'all and be transparent because you know this is a safe space i love y'all so thank you guys so much again once again for watching this video all the way through you're a real one Big shout out to Amorphia for sending me those products. I have been loving them. I have been using them literally daily. So don't forget to use their coupon code. I put it in the description box for you guys. Love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.